Hello and welcome to a match. We're here on Evora. Team 1 ANS, Team 2 OSP, 3K 4v4. Pretty standard stuff. I'm also joined once again by the illustrious Beef. Well, thank you for having me. This is this is gonna be a good one, I think. I think I always say that, but I still every nap game is a good one, right? <laughs> I wish I have had to dump quite a few recordings and just been like man this is a waste of everyone's time I, i'm not <laughs> showing anybody this yeah i've been i'm very happy to have you beef i did a couple without you and man i i feel it like it wasn't that much of a change shifting from just solo to duoing it was like oh this, this is better this runs better this is nice and enjoyable but man going back to it was rough So you're saying you missed me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Can't run the OSP team. Oh, man. Grenade and Mackinac bringing shuttle spam. And then on the other team, Cool Dude and Heinrich bringing uh, just just Solomons. So this is going to be this is gonna be an interesting game. That um, is a lot of shuttles. Holy yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> There's got... a shuttle for every rock out here. That's for sure. We got MMR Roberts in a pair of MLS2 roll-off ships with only about 200 missiles. He's going to have to be a little too judicious with those since his alpha strikes are 64. Got a few of them. Bonnie and a more normal fleet. I think this might be the starter fleet. Actually, Kainite, maybe? Very near the star starter fleet. He's named him something different, but it's the same core idea. 250s on one side, 450s on another on a bulker. A uh, well rounded Ocello, and then a little scout tug. Not a bad build. And the shuttle spam team. Now, I've seen this before. Yeah. So, grenades rocking all rocket launchers and a pinpoint on all these shuttles. And then a Bloodhound and EWR tug. I can always got an EWR tug. With some PD. And then a mix of Bastions and Pinpoints in the 2x2x2 slot on the shuttles. And then our L18s on the front. Oh man. These can go on a sharking mission, that's for sure. Cool dude. Gun Solomon. A lot of stone walls and defenders. He should probably be safe from rockets, depending on what range they're launched at. Yeah, the flak's gonna help against the rockets. Oh, yes. Ewar frigate. All this Johnson and guns. Stone walls on the destroyer with a beam as well. Man, that is one expensive destroyer. That's why he's only got two ships. Yeah. And a 250 and 450 Axford. Some services and looks like some VLS2s as well and some point defense slots. Very interesting. Some, uh, what were those hybrids? No, just some standard mark trues. Very good, very good. And this other Solomon. The That's Henry what killed. I'm still looking at. I'm still staring at it, going, okay. Yeah. He's got a couple 450s on top, a beam on the bottom, and then a Mark III with hybrids on the on the little tiny top slot. It is covered in stone walls too. Very interesting. Very he's got a spy class in his BB as well. Interesting really? Yeah. It's He's got nothing for the beam though. He's, everything's ammo elevators or programming. Which, I mean, I think the beam's still pretty good on its own, I guess. Yeah, and it's it's probably meant to be like a secondary weapon, right? Like something gets a little too close and you just z yeah. zap it and make it go away. OSP capping Charlie already? It's the shuttles, yeah, pretty fast. 
yeah. travels all over Delta and Alpha. That's crazy how fast they got there. Yeah, they're all over everywhere. All right, and our last player, Nero, has a Missile Axford, 250 underslung. Some hybrids, I'm guessing. Hybrids and Mark II. Okay, so mostly standard Mark IIs, but a few hybrids mixed in there as well. Gonna be. I'll see actually be really strong against all these shuttles. Uh, Mark III, Hybrid three Corvette. Two of them. Man, this guy has gone. He's made a missile fleet, but a very odd one. Yeah, yeah, he. Uh, I don't know about the Corvettes holding on to the missiles, just on the frigate. If you wanted that, but I guess cappers at the end. Maybe, but he's not using them for that. Well, they're expensive. I wouldn't want. To yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> at, at the end. At the end. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. But even then, they're. He's got three types of missiles. The Corvettes hold a different one. Oh yeah. Shatter. Yeah. Can't wait to see what those do. BB like, and Rocket about to meet each other. I wonder if they see him. I think they see him. The I don't know where he's launching this. Oh no, they see the, e the EWR Ooh. tug. That's a lot of missiles for one tug. Man, I gotta kill that tug. That's true. And this thing might he's have out. my defense on it, but it doesn't. Oh my! That was quick. Poor little rocket shell didn't have a chance. Nope. Was he able to cap though? No, he wasn't able to cap. No. So hybrid's going after this tug. They're definitely going to kill it. You can put some corkscrew on him. Punk. I might actually miss. No. Good hits. Yeah, that thing's just dead. No stores and the uh, I mean the drive and the CIC are alive, but the EWR and the Bloodhound are dead, so it doesn't matter. I mean, Ooh. both BBs stick together. Those these shuttles are gonna have a hard time pinning its PD. But as soon as they split up, though. Yeah, because they both went pretty hard on the stone walls, right? Yes. Yeah. They are battle buddies now. Yep. Also looks just awesome having two Solomons fly together like this. Oh yeah. It's not something you see very often. More rocket shuttles. I think they smell an Axford nearby. Maybe. Yeah, they've been doing uh, a sneaky beaky. Maybe we're gonna ambush a strats, but nothing's come to camp it, so. I'm out here getting a little impatient. Ooh, shook him beam out. Another shuttle. Just going for Charlie. Instantly downed. Yeah, I wasn't too sure about that underslung beam, but uh, I think it's already paid for itself. It is, it has. <laughs> Grenade not happy. Missiles coming finding out. Finding out the BBs are going to be harder to kill. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this missile player has just keeps firing his missiles into rocks. He fired some earlier into rocks. I think this is an extremely new player. Oh, the hate of humanity, Axford? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, pedals in front of him. What are you going to do? He's trying to run from these shuttles. Yeah, he's doing a pretty good job of it, too. He is. Get your guns on him. Fire the RPF. What does he have? He's got Auroras and Sarissa, so he does not oh, want to see no. Him. He does not want to see him. Yeah, he's eventually going to run out of Asteroid to hide behind. The other Axford is also spotted and he's not ready either. Very much not. Meanwhile, those battleships have captured Charlie. Gonna get ANS on the board. <laughs> <laughs> I 
What is this Benny Hilling I'm watching right now? Oh. He's Mark II, so I might just save the Saxford. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Good shuttle's really not paying off. Great missiles. Saved his teammate. Bag two shuttles. That's that's a great play. Yeah, one Except of them still. Except the entire OSP fleet is about to come behind that rod. This is going to be. This is going to be a fight. Yeah, I think all these experts are in trouble. Because I don't think those Mark twos are going to be very effective against these bulkers since they've got. Oh, these have grazers on them instead of bastions. Alright, hold on, we gotta take a look at all these. Bastion services on the ship. Yeah, grazers on both of the uh, missile bulkers, so. Ocella Let's... opening up. He's got Pinard on the back, that's uh, kinda interesting. Yeah, we've seen that before. I don't, well, I don't know if it was in any, any of the. Uh... Yeah, videos that got uploaded, but I've definitely seen people putting Bernards on the backpacks, on the on the like very back corner solos. Black doing its job, Grazer's help. Yeah, I don't Rocky's think going into the Axford from that crippled shuttle got the rest of his off. Nice catch. Oh yeah, there it is, front of the back side. Axford? Really bruised up, actually. You only got three stores left and he's taking 450 fire. And meanwhile, the missile Axford doesn't have quite enough programming channels to punch through the, uh, the PD. And OSP. Counterfiring. Coming back out saying goodbye, good night. You die. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, time for your anti hybrid build to, uh, Go the way of the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that thing's dead. The other Axford, I hate. Look at all the crits. Um. The other Axford immediately backing off. Understandable, quite spooky. Yeah, but I, it's too late. He's in too much open space. The entire OSP team's on him now. Rocket shuttles coming up. Yeah, and the missile team just needs to fire another battery at him. Might be wanting to save for the uh, battleships and then are relying on the 450 to kill this. Which the 450 will take quick work on this last group. Yep. For sure. He's launching his missiles. He's gonna get hits on these the rest of these shuttles, but yeah, yeah, in there, yeah. He's lost a shuttle. Another batch of miss of uh, shuttle rockets coming out on the battleships. Now we're gonna see how well the oh. stonewalls perform. Oh, uh, extremely well is the answer. <laughs> wow. One leaker, three. Some of these are getting through. Just tickling the, the BB. Yeah, about five impacts right on the middle, but like you said, not really doing that much. He lost his breathings. The, the crew's going to sleep on the floor on the right back. Damn. I mean, that's, that's fine. Uh, you know, that, that, that could actually be very powerful for the OSP team, going to be inflicting some uh, back injuries on the crew in the long term. Some back injury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sleep you sleep in a poor position for too long, you will start to to hurt your back a little bit. So, you know. This battle goes on for a few weeks. There goes the X for he's space dust where he belongs, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I uh, don't think the battle's going to be a long one at all. Not with these shuttles getting cut to shreds by these battleships. As they slowly make their way across the battlefield. If these things just stay where they are, they're going to be super safe. Unless rockets get fired point blank. Oh, man. Even with...
with the extreme close range. They're just not going to be able to do enough since it takes two rocket hits to get through a battleship. They're not really doing anything. That's crazy. So all they, all, they, all they really did with that one is soften them up. See, if one of, the, if one of those rockets shuttles that had died for free it managed to get its stuff off, then the, that could have been a really good strike. But other rocket shell yelling at him, eat our rockets, and the beam is just laughing. Yep, 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 yep. That beam's done an amazing job. Let's go back here. Thanks for firing out more missiles into the dead shuttles, unfortunately. Which means it's going to get cleaned up without doing that much more damage. By these 450s. Okay. Adel Adel being shot at the at that tug again, finishing him off. Yep, he is down for the count. Back to our missile axer, and he is he's he's dead. That's Basically, all these rocket shuttles spread around. I mean, the battleships have to stick together. I think if they just kind of follow around behind the battleships and then cap points. They'll, uh, yeah. OSP, well. OSP's got complete map control. Even with the two VPs roaming around, there's really nothing ANS can do about that. They have a keystone that could camp somewhere, but what point? Yeah, and I feel like this keystone would get uh, wrecked or renoed by a couple of rocket shuttles. They just, yeah, the OSP team just needs to be mobile and back cap constantly and s just stay away from these battleships. One battleship you might consider fighting, but two just parked on each other with really strong point defense. No way. Just, just yeah. stay away from them. Oh, speaking of rockets going after the Keystone. Oh, most of them missed. Still, though, that's their last really, like, other capper ship other than a frig. Yeah. I think this Rains is trying to stay near the battleships to put the E war down the field. One of these Atlantals going after the shuttles. I'd say these BBs been doing a great job killing the shuttles. Indeed. There goes another one. Yeah, how many shuttles are down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then, then both tugs as well. It's nine kills, and I think most of that's the battleships. The uh, missile axe for a team killed two of them. Over right here. This destroyer got caught by the bulk of the OSP fleet. And its beam is not facing the correct direction. Well, he's trying. He's got a lot of flack, though. Great for rockets. Just gotta get that beam on. Oh, 450 fire coming in now. Yeah, this thing's trying so hard to get that beam to target. We've got a missile you got in here. Drive. Just a standard drive. Trying so hard. It is just not enough. And there it goes. Did he have a basic CIC in here? No, that's a Citadel. Ah, oh, but the drive got taken down, and he has no restores or electricity. OSP could easily back half Charlie. I don't know why they haven't done that yet with their sprinter back there, but he's just chilling. Yeah, that is Grenade rocking the rocket shuttles, and uh, I'm not sure how familiar you are with that player, but I know him pretty well, and he's. 
pretty much only plays beam battleship. So I think he's a little uncomfortable with the shuttles, but he's been doing a decent job with them. So he's not, he's not looking all over the map all the time. Yeah, I agree. He could have... Oh, he's moving now. Yeah, we just had to talk about him. Yeah. <laughs> Problem solved. The old caster curse. You start saying someone's not doing something, they will immediately start doing it. Let's see if that works for Delta. I mean, I wish a shuttle would cap Delta. <laughs> I think oh, that's... He's doing a great job, though. This game, I think, is in the bag for them. Agreed. Oh, but these BBs are starting to get shots off. Yeah, the rest of the, the main OSP fleet has engaged the battleships. Which I think is a, a bad idea. I don't. I don't think you want to fight these. No, no, you really, you really don't have to fight them either. You could just, you know, fly away from them. But they, those P is out for blood. Oh boy. Out to use their missiles. Oh yes. Too. As a destroyer. They're fi Oh, they're firing the missiles at the rains. Not the battleship. That's actually a good target for those. Great target. <laughs> just a lot. It's a little overkill, maybe a little, just a little bit. <laughs> the oh. black is coming in now, so maybe it wasn't overkill, but it still feels like it. Yeah, he is he's dead now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there he goes. And here's here's an extra fifty missiles for you, just in case you weren't dead before. Oh man. God, beam so is funny. out. Beam, he's actually in beam range. Again, a oh, good range. Oh man! You do not want to be in beam range with a missile cruiser. It's a good way to get one of your magazines cut out. All right, missiles going after the battleships. If you were gonna get through that flak, it's unreal. Yeah, what is that? Like four got through? A couple did. I had somewhere dying right before they hit too, so it was hard, but mm, you know, yeah. a few hits. Yeah, that'll ship more or less fine. Where are the four fifties? I you need to follow up with these and they had the good idea of staying out of that fight. But, I mean, if one of your teammates engages, you probably want to have everybody there. Against this sort of thing. Because I agree, getting follow-up damage would be huge. Rockets coming out from both angles, but PD doing pretty good against all that as well. Oh man, almost nothing happening. Britannia ruling the waves. Quite free to just fly around with impunity. Fortunately, OSP has figured out that, wait a minute, we just fall around behind these guys. They're too fat and slow to control any points. That's exactly what's happening. They they realized that. Yeah, cool but dude. They, they still went into uh, combat though. I mean, these missile for missileers didn't need to get that close, but they did, and he's out of missiles now. He didn't really do too much to the BBs. Everything else, though, I mean, he, he killed the Axfords, so great job. I cannot wait to see the damage on that beam. The enemy secured some dagger. 
actually interesting to see the rockets not do anything to a BB. And here I think I'm doing a hell of a lot of damage when I hit them. And they really don't. No, no, really don't. They just, they just tickle it. Not unless you get a completely ridiculous volume of them to target. But yeah, with with the uh, large surface area of the battleship and the fact that it takes two rocket hits on the same spot to do any damage, yeah. It uh, doesn't do that much. It's funny because uh, a lot of times in balance discussion, battleship players will complain about rockets being way too powerful. It's like, no, if you're getting killed by rockets, that's a you problem. That's, that's not a rocket problem. As we're saying here, just having good point defense means uh, rockets are hard countered by battleships. Battleships and axfords, but everything else, though, squishy, uh, dies really easily to rockets. So I can oh, see yes. a DD player going, rockets are OP. Yeah, they they are for you. Yeah, I, th I think the destroyer is absolutely the best thing to shoot with rockets, because voxels and sprinters and uh, rains with a good engine and it can just dodge at uh, yeah. medium range. And a DD is the easiest thing to hit. Yeah, cause it's big, it's boxy, it's not that fast. So it's... Uh... Pretty easy now, to land those hits. I am gonna say I hate this feeling as as a player. You have your BB, and you feel like you did a great job this game, but you still you look at the caps and you're just like, man, I can't cap all these. Like, do you throw in the towel? I would. I would too. Because the game's over. The game is over. These these two have lost. They've played really well, like you said. Um, they've done their job perfectly. Uh, but you, uh, as a battleship player, you can't do everything, right? You have a very specific job. I feel this pain as a missile player because I have, I have a very specific job. I can't dominate an entire battlefield with my ship here. I can't control caps. I can't do everything. I, I dish out a ton of damage on some very specific targets, and, and that's it. A that's very good rocket into one of the BBs, except it's just it's not, not enough. enough. There's no follow up of 450, which I'm really sad about. Oh, that beam's so close. Mac trying to talk some sense into the BBs, and the BBs are, I think they're just happy to be shooting stuff right now. Yeah, I agree. I think these two players are uh, happy not to get wrecked out the game. Battleships have been having some real problems of getting in gunfights and then being stuck forever due to the acceleration change. So these things are just rolling around the map, dominating everything that tries to fight. Finally some 450 fire from the Asolo. Into the most damage BB, which, you know, he's gonna do a lot more damage than he thinks, because he's pretty yellowed out in the, the rear of the ship, at least. Yeah, and a lot of the armor on both of these ships have been dented from all the rocket fire. Oh, top side with the 450, that's gonna hurt. Battleship players are going to split up and try to win on caps, but I think as soon as they split up, they're going to get, yeah, I was going to say rocketed, but honestly, I don't think there's much in the way of rockets left. Look at all the dead shuttles. There's, there's a few on the top of the map. 
a few left three about three left but that's not enough but even then those three can just you know go to alpha and cap and just fall around the behind the bb what are they gonna do turn around and kill you <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's exactly the problem I didn't think it was going to do much work, and here it is, just swatting away. Not the battleships are split. Oh, these going to have some issues getting the target. Two missiles coming out. Only a couple landing. Let's see, the BB lost its main antenna, but luckily, he brought a backup underneath, and you can actually see everything. So. Yeah, those underslug incentives are super strong. Because you are right that the top one gets popped out so often. I don't know if the... Uh... OSP team keeps engaging the battleships and losing ships. The uh, battleships might be able to win a military victory. They could really easily if the rockets fleet theirs and the Ocello gets hurt. Ocello's doing a really good job though, just staying behind a rock, getting his peak fire in, and then moving. The rocket blast coming into the new dawn, but uh, nothing doing. One single hit, and which didn't even puncture armor. And then he's gonna eat a beam. Yep. And it's dead. It's, it's like that salt gun for the flies. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, just... yeah. <laughs> Pop. And there it goes. I'm done. Uh, but there, there goes Alpha. It's just being capped by a shuttle. That 450 liner getting roasted. He's well done, but he's still, he's still combat effective. And that's asking how many shells they bring. Yes. Yeah, starting to realize that, man, it seems like a lot. <laughs> Two fleets, actually. <laughs> the enemy is securing zone boxer. The enemy is securing zone atlas. See, they might have been able to do this if they had map control early on. And the the score was reversed like ans was really ahead on points and they could just roll around and keep just a trickle of points incoming to win but with the way it is now the, the game is only over Yeah, I think more than one BB on an ANS team is a little much. You just you bring a lot of firepower and a lot of a lot of you know tankiness, but uh, you're just you're just so slow. 
Yeah, you sacrifice so much map control. Unless your other two players are bringing, like, dedicated frigate teams. Yeah, it would have been interesting to see. Uh, two frigate swarms of two BBs, I think, would have been a really good comp against this. Yeah. These frigates can box the shuttles, dodge the rockets, while dishing out plenty of fire as well, and then the battleships can hold rear points. There we go, that's what you want to be doing with rockets, is firing them right into that rear engine block. Getting quite a few good hits in. Still got one one drive still up, but yeah, that that hurt. Enemy feeling that battleship's gonna be stuck on Bravo for a while. After all that, he can still go nineteen. In fact, he's t getting speed up. OSP lost a lot more ships than I think they really needed to, but it's not Conquest, so it's okay. But I'm getting in that mentality of, like, value. Yeah. Shuttles are, yeah, you can be a lot of value for shuttles. Um, probably more than tugs. Just the ability to be so fast and able to re relocate. Yeah, I think you're right. How to spend your ships is going to be absolutely int integral once Conquest comes up. Depending on how popular the game mode is, of course. I know a lot of people are super excited for it. And they're like, oh, this is going to be the new way it's going to play. No one's going to be playing Skirmish anymore. But I don't know about that. Since it's such a long-form campaign, it's like a, a really long commitment to do that. You can't just drop in and fight a few fights and have a couple matches. It's more, it's more serious, so I think there will still be... I think this sort of game mode is still going to have a place. Skirmish. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's... There always will be skirmishes and people playing that. But I agree that in general, I think players should be ready for having a conquest mindset. Of, well, it might be more worth to just retreat this ship than to suicide it onto A point. Especially against a Solomon with a beam. This bulk freighter got a new new wrap done. He went with the the, the black metallic. Yeah. <laughs> Looking sick. Was showing the BB his new his new skin. I'm amazed at how little damage the battleships have taken from all of this. I mean, this one's bruised, and this one's bruised, but they're mostly fighting fit. Yeah, OSP did a great job of harassing these BBs on every corner. Shuttles getting close, waving at the BB. Crews can see each other. Hello! 
is when, is when you fly your ship and just park it right off the command deck upside down and just have everybody make rude gestures out the window. Always has been. Capping is capping fleets have always been super strong. You just have to be cognizant of how you use them and be careful not to throw your ships away. Uh, that's all I play as as OSP is uh, uh, objective gaming build. Just you need that. You need that on OSP. To get that early initial head on point, so when there are two BBs roaming around, you pretty much have the game in the bag. Yes. GG being called. Except I think we knew that quite a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah about 10 15 minutes ago would have been nice. But that's okay, we have uh, the power of editing. <laughs> Cut and clip and snip a little bit in there. And GG. Now the BBs didn't do anything wrong. They did great. For sure. It's just the fact that they're a BB. It, it just sucks. As you can't cap anything fast enough. Oh my god. Look at the damage out of high root pills. Almost all of that, well half of it with uh, the beam turret. 24,000 done with the beam turn. That's. <laughs> oof. <laughs> oof. Both battleship players doing phenomenally. They just needed the support out of some light ships. And they didn't have it. They had some supporting heavy ships that got destroyed very early on. His, his actual. Adel Adels did awesome too. 13 hits. Out of 16, that's wow. That's really good. Very like, nice. You only need about two or three of those to kill a shuttle and a couple more to get, get rid of a tug. Good trade. One of the rocket shuttles has 7,000 damage on it. Bet yeah. you knew that was the one that hit the DD. <laughs> Probably. The yeah, DD cause... received 10,000 damage. Looking at the rest of the shuttles, and they just don't have very much. Even the ones that full expended their stuff and got lots of hits, since it's you know getting lands on battleships, this really doesn't do that much with the rockets. Missile carriers also struggling just because of how much point defense the battleships had. The 450 team doing pretty good damage though. 450 did great damage. Alright, that was a bit of an odd one. The double battleships. But it was a good match. It's really it was cool. It was cool to see all the frigates or all the shuttles. Yes, sir. All right, let's dip up into the waiting room and see what the players have to say about that one. How'd it go? Hey. Good game. It's so, so darn good. What did you think of the uh, shuttle fleet? It's pretty nice. This is actually exactly what y'all needed. Yeah, and the two uh, battleship yeah. F ball. A little foolish, because you needed the. The capping, but they they y'all work so well together. You guys did exactly what you had to do. Yeah, they were, uh, they were scary. yeah. yeah my main was issue was actually getting locks on your on your bigger ships, like uh, Varney's Acello. That thing was like a 
ghost. I can barely get a um, view on it before, I, um, and it just disappeared before I could actually open fire. My, the shuttles, they I always run unless I'm locking someone actively, like I'm in their face. I have the radar and comms off on all my shuttles, so and they yeah. have like a radar signature of like a thousand meters. <laughs> so they just they just appear out of nowhere, dump thirty two missiles into someone's side, and then disappear. Yeah, even but then, then I, I, I like to use the that, orbit uh, command. Yeah, is that my uh, Acela actually? Uh, survive with some moderate damage like it was still combat capable at the end of a match i think i had like, two shuttles alive left but then one of them one of them was mostly dead yeah i, I think That's i uh wrecked alive. one with her 450 shields didn't i oh yeah, yeah and then the beam like looked I mean, whenever the beam so much as looked at one of my shuttles and like i wasn't dodging it they like it like got dis disappeared there was one shuttle i had where i was flying at your shuttle at your ship your battleship and the other battleship was right below me and i was getting like tickled by the very edge of the beam it was like hitting the bottom of my ship but it wasn't doing any damage huh. so was, yeah was, um yeah, well it sounds like y'all had a good time Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was a good time. Fun. And I was blasting uh, Dreadnoughts the whole time as well, so it was good. Very nice. Anyway, Sabaton, yeah. Bunch of powerful songs. Yep. I'm gonna do my closer, and I'll be right back. Alright, so uh, you heard from the players there at the end. They had a pretty good time, sounds like, which is good. That's the intent of these. Have a fun time. I hope you had a good time too, dear viewer. Huge thanks to Beef for coming out uh he would say thanks for having me but he, I, I i just deafened myself in the discord for this didn't want to shake things up too much and uh if you want to know where we're doing this got a discord link down in the description that's where these get hosted out of that's where i tell people to come and that's where we try to have a lot of communication between people because that is what makes for good games teamwork baby i mean you saw it in that last game the teamwork between the shuttles Teamwork between even people that weren't in the Discord, the teamwork between the uh, two battleships. Teamwork is everything in Nebulous, and I highly encourage it. And uh, if you don't want to do it on my Discord, do it on the official Nebulous Discord. They got a tons of tons and tons of channels for that. Ah, <sighs> all right, we're gonna get into another one here real quick. Thanks for dropping by. I'll see you in the battle space.